Welcome back, we're talking about epidemiology and in this video we're gonna deal with prevalence and incidence. Uh, this is not complicated, I've got a little example at the bottom. I've deliberately put some trickery into the example so that we deal with every possible scenario. And basically, by the way, this the, what you're looking at at the moment, the sheet is available. You can download it at learnmore365.com. Uh, you can create a, a free account there and you can get this. Um, and I'll put a link at the end of the video, you, you can click on that. Right, let's jump right in. Prevalence and incidence. What is prevalence? It is kind of what the word sounds like it is, right? It's the number of people that have a condition divided by the population at risk. In other words, of all of the people we're looking at, how many of them have a particular condition? We're usually referring to point prevalence, so at a point in time, how many people have condition X, right? We can do a period prevalence, so we might take a number of years or a number of months and say how many people had the condition during that period of time. Now, importantly, they still count if they come into the period of time already having the condition. It becomes important when we talk about incidents, which in which that's not the case. It's also important that if we're dealing with a period prevalence, like let's say a four year period of time, and the person gets sick, recovers, and then gets sick again, we still just count them once. In other words, we say during that period of time, they got sick regardless of, you know, they got that particular condition. It doesn't matter if they got it more than once. We're answering the question, did they or did they not get that condition in that period of time? Incidents, however, is a little different, right? Now we're talking about the number of new cases divided by the total population, right? So the difference is if a person comes into the period of time with the condition already, they don't count. And if the person gets the condition, recovers and gets it again, they get counted twice. So let's look at 